Oh, oh. I, gotta stop and, I gotta stop and pick up some diesel. My gosh, we're running low. Anyways, we got the Massey. Massey's fully loaded on there. Massey's the first one to come. And then we got the deers coming that I gotta pick up today. We got a lot yet. Oh, shoot. We're gonna be hitting off the side of the road. Uh, but as always, guys, seriously, like, if you guys enjoy this series, please help me out and just smash that like button. Thank you so much. Man, I really appreciate it. Who the heck is this? Well, let's fuel up. Is that Al... I think that's Alabama Song of the South. He's playing for his truck. Song of the South, right, man? Hey, <laughs> yeah, I see you're a man of, uh, man of good taste. Yeah, yeah, Alabama. Alabama, right? Seems that? Yeah, Alabama. It's one of their new songs. I think that just came out. That came out That came out a couple weeks ago. I'm loving that song. I was yeah. just I was just coming from uh, northern Missouri, and I was just listening to that song. I was like, that's got to be Alabama Missouri. Song of the South. Yeah. Uh, you're a Missouri boy, are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I like the truck, by the way. Chevy? Oh, thank you. Do you just yep. get this truck? She's pretty yeah, new. It's, uh, it's new to me, at least. Okay. Man, Bought it she used. Looks, yeah, she looks good, though. What's your name, by the way? Yeah. I'm Jake. Jake, what's yours? Jake, I'm Grant. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Grant, I, nice to meet you. I just moved here uh, from from uh, Nebraska, actually. Stopped in Northern Missouri at John Deere dealership. Came up through... Uh, you know, Waterloo, I had to stop at that John Deere dealership, and yeah, I just I just moved uh, straight from Nebraska here, so, so yeah. Oh, all right, you, all right. You around? Well, I, uh, you from around here? Yeah, born and raised. Born okay. and raised out here. In McGregor, wow. Mm-hmm, yep, yeah, yeah, right across the, the river there. If you don't mind me asking, what township do you live in? Uh, Franklin. Franklin Township. Oh, dude, I just uh, I just moved for, I just moved to Franklin uh, Township. I'm actually building a farm out there, yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay, so you're building a farm. Are you building a... Uh, Near old old Fred? Yeah. Near Fred's place? Fred's, uh, Fred's, well, he's, he's my new neighbor. Fred's my new neighbor. He has those, I don't know, he, Fred doesn't, I haven't talked to Fred much, but he doesn't live there. He has just those, he has that Quonset and those two buildings, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm the guy putting those up. We started construction about four weeks ago on that, on the farm here. So I just, I'm just moving in. Like, I just got this new, this Massey that we're just moving in over here. So you, uh, I was driving by that earlier. I, I've been seeing it last few weeks getting built, and I was like, man, somebody's got themselves a fancy farm going up. So where do you, where do you live? You gotta live. You, if you're in the Franklin Township, you gotta live just south of me. I live just north of you. Uh, just uh, north, uh, north. Okay. Yep. I actually, probably, yeah, just about uh, on the other side of the brush, actually. Hey, if you want, come check out the farm. We're just finishing up. I'd love to give you a tour. Show the shop Absolutely. around and everything. If you want yeah, to, I'm, to, I'm watching uh, Dukes of Hazard. The next episode on is airing tonight, so I'm watching that too. If you want to come over, watch them. Yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm good with that. That sounds like a good time. You want a camel, by the way, Jake? I, you, I'm more of a marble man, but yeah, I'll I just, got I'll all I got is camel, man. That's all good. Yeah, John Deere dealer guy got me hooked on them. Doctor says they're good. I'm <laughs> loving them. Yeah, well, I've been hearing some studies otherwise lately, but uh, you want a yeah. light? Yeah, yeah, if I could. My oh. daddy, he used to smoke camel. Yeah. As well. Yeah. <coughs> I'm still getting used you to him. Got yourself some weak lungs down there. Yeah, man. we're still getting used to him. Well, I gotta get holding this Massey. If uh, if you want to stop on by, just what are you doing later today? Just you. Well, I uh, I have a co-op there in, in McGregor. Okay. In town and. Oh, you have a little, little co-op there. Okay. Yeah, I got a little work to do there, but uh, other than that, not really a whole lot. You know, it's getting ready. It's springtime, so. It's Getting fields ready, equipment ready, things like that. Oh, looks like my gas is, my fuel, diesel's done. Yeah. She's about spilling over. Had that happen one day. They say you're not supposed to smoke around these things. I still haven't figured out why. Yeah, I don't know. The way I see it, it ain't killed me yet. It ain't going to kill me later. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Jake. It was nice meeting you. I'll see you later, man. All right. See you around. Vote Reagan. <laughs> Red like Reagan. You know it. Now guys, in all seriousness, I probably should have said this before. Seriously, smoking is not cool at all. The only reason we're doing it is because it's 80s roleplay as the roleplay. It's not cool at all. It'll really kill you. Don't do it. Seriously, i would never smoked a day in my life. But one of the reasons we smoke in the roleplay too is because I've been sick for the past two weeks and I'll just, I'll cough. I'm coughing all the time. So when I cough, that's actually because I'm sick. I'm like, oh, that's a good cigarette, you know? So I just cover it up with that. So, but anyways, we're going to be smoking throughout this roleplay. But seriously, in real life, don't smoke. Seriously. Man, this old Lodestar, she doesn't run well when you're just easy on her, but once you get going full throttle, whoo, she blows that, uh, that diesel out like a cat on fire. So we're going to take 18, head up to the farm. Man, 
Anybody coming? Ah, we're good. 14 foot 9 inches, we gonna clear? Yep, we got her. Tell you what, feels a lot cheaper over here. My gosh, a dollar twenty? Whew, that's where we need to be filling up at. But also with these roleplay videos, guys, especially this Iowa series, I, dude, I, I really want to push them like really long, just to have a lot of content. Because I want you guys to watch every video. I want it to get suggested. One way to do that is to have a high watch time. So I really want to uh, make them long. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. If they ever get too long, tell me. Just there's so many things. Put your opinion in. Oh man, I just want to make this series perfect. So. Put your opinion in. If if I talk too much, tell me I talk too much. If I don't get the perfect shot, tell me I'm not getting the perfect shot. You know, uh, feel free to comment anything, literally anything. Last side note: I think the year we're gonna play in is '89, 1989, because it works better. Because we said '80s, and uh, we decided '89 will work. That way, we can use any tractor from like '89 or any song or anything we talk about can be through '89. Some things may not match up perfectly. But we're going to call the year 1989. If somebody gets a year off a little bit, whether it's Jake, me, uh, Austin, uh, Clutch, anybody, or Buck. I forgot about Buck almost. Don't get on them, guys. Seriously, these guys these guys are trying as hard as they can. Don't get on them if they get the year wrong. If, if I get the year wrong, feel free. Roast me. Now, also, the question is, so we got to figure out, well, first of all, we got to figure out a ton of different implements to purchase. And then we're going to make that turn. Yep, we gotta figure out a bunch of different implements what we're gonna purchase because I got my tractors pretty much down. I got the main workhorses. We got the 4450. We got the Massey 4900, which is right back here. I gotta get duels on still. The duels are shipped already at the farm that we gotta put on. And then we also have the 4440. I'm thinking maybe we'll buy another tractor. Who knows? I do want one more field tractor. We'll see. That'll come later probably. But I, I just gotta figure out implements because we're gonna need an auger. We're going to need a chisel plow. We're going to need probably a disc. We're going to need a combine. We're going to need a sprayer. Which there's a sprayer I got my eyes on here. There's just, there's tons of stuff we got to buy. So feel free to put your recommendation in. Take a left hand turn here. Now this is the first time coming in the driveway with the semi. I think what I'm going to do, because this is pretty steep and it's pretty, it's going to be tough to get through. I don't know if I'm going to make that. I'm going to come up the far side, most likely. Holy crap, dude. The Lodestar. We are, uh... We made it, may need a little tune-up on this thing. Oh, gosh. We got a lot of weight behind us. But man, we're just chugging along slowly. And we're here. First tractor to make it to the farm. Got the gates open. We're getting Lodestar swing wide across here. <laughs> Can we pull up the driveway? That was the question. Come on. And there we go. Poppy made it. <coughs> put the cigarette out. I'm going to jump in the cab, get the hydraulics running, and then we're going to get the Massey unloaded. And probably, I'm gonna, man, I'd love to put duels on it today. I'd love to get chisel plowing today if we can. There we go. Hydraulics are running. She's coming down. Let's undo these straps while we're at it. Oh, I'm gonna jump in the Massey, start her up, and take her for, I don't know, take her for a little test run? What do you do when you get a new tractor? Back her off. There we go. Well, I guess for now, I'm just gonna back her in the shop. Keep going. I gotta fold up that door. Let's get out. Man, what do you guys think of her? Massey Ferguson 4900. Now, when the salesman told me horsepower, he told me 260 horsepower. This thing, the 4900, he was thinking of like the 4800 or 4700 model, but the 4900 is Massey Ferguson's biddle, bigger, biggest tractor for this year. It has 375 horse around there, give or take, which is just insane. So, I have duels for this, but if we need, if we need more traction, because we got so much horsepower, I could probably put triples on this thing. I'm gonna run in here, and we'll pop open the door. There she goes. Sorry, she's not that organized in here. We got to clean her up a little bit, but she's good for now. I think what I'm going to do is just back the Massey in here. And then this is uh, cold storage. We have the heated main part over here. So we're good. And then we have other storage out here yet, too. Let's jump in her. Back her up. There we go. Massey, welcome home. We're going to shut that door. And actually, my other deers were delivered. We worked out a, de we worked out a deal with a private con... A private trucker 
to deliver the other dealer deers. I was able to deliver the Massey, so the other deers are down by John Deere. There's a couple things I want to get installed on, on them, including on the 4440 loader brackets. So he dropped them off. Those have been sitting at Deer down in McGregor for probably two or three days. So I, all I gotta do is run down there, pick them up, jump in the load store, get trucking. Now I guess one thing I didn't really think about, this should work. Yeah, this will work fine. So this is where we're gonna turn around the farm because the farm is kind of tight. Especially this is the biggest, longest implement we're probably gonna be running through the farm. And this will work fine. Just pulling around here. We're gonna clear. Yep. And swing wad. Now I've only met one person, but so far, people of McGregor are awesome. So Farmers Co-op, I think, I think that sign is, uh, I think that's Jake's business right there. Jake's co-op that he owns. I think that's what it is. Take a right hand turn, pull into the deer dealer. So that's, yep, that's the co-op that Jake owns that he was talking about. Man, that's neat. He's got a nice Ford there too. Dang, or no, that's a Chevy. I'm an idiot. That's a Chevy. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention, if you're ever interested in a gaming PC or looking to play Farm Sim or don't have one or want to upgrade, feel free to check out Apex Game PCs. You use code SQUAD for 10% off. Uh, if you want, go check them out. I got the link down below. You can check out there's a SQUAD PC, there's a SQUAD Plus, and then there's a SQUAD Ultra that I'm using. I did want to pull over, show you guys the load we got on. <coughs> Gosh darn serious. But uh, I want to show you guys the load we got in here. We got the 4440. Now, there's supposed to be loader brackets on this, but Deer never got them in. That was some miscommunication there uh, between Buck, Buck's a nice guy, and then Deer here in McGregor. Uh, things didn't work out. They, they're like, what? I got there. And they didn't give me a call, obviously, because they don't have my phone number because I have a cell phone. But uh, they're like, what the heck? We don't, we don't have any loader brackets. So I was like, ah, I understand. They didn't get the word to you. And then we got the 4450 with duels. Now at John Deere and McGregor, I was looking around a little bit, and they had, they had a, they had a couple different implements. One that I went ahead and bought is a disc, and the other is a drill. I think the model on that drill is an 8520. Both are like two years old. They're in good shape. I thought it was a good value buy because we'll use both of them. So the only thing is, is I couldn't fit them on this trailer. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, since I don't have a ride back, I'll probably have to take the pickup truck down, pull one of them home, get it back. Then pull another home. Kind of sucks. I need almost need a hired hand. Man, I wonder who this is. They're moving kind of slow. Well, I'm not gonna be able to pass it, these uh, this guy or, or gal. Oh, it's okay. We'll sit behind them. Man, they don't even have their hazards on. Idiots. Oh wait, maybe they do. Oh, they got their blinker on. Okay. Oh shoot. They're gonna be turning down the same road as I am. Darn. Okay, we're going to have to sit behind him for a little bit. That's all good. Driving a case. That's a nice tractor. Oh. Looks like my buddy's letting me pass. Whoever this is. Give him the horn. Was that? That might have been Jake. I think that's Jake. Looks like he's a case guy. Well, we may have to swing on over, drive the new uh, 4450 over to his farm, show him what's up with the old new deer. Not to brag or anything in his face, but if there's a case guy, you just gotta you gotta play with him a little bit. Oh, it looks like Jake's coming in. He's gonna tour the farm. I think I can see him in my mirror. Yep, there he is. Get that hydraulics running. Let's talk to Jake. Jake, I almost didn't see you there on the road. I was like, who's that slow buck, slow dude there? And he let me pass. Yeah, no problem. I saw you coming up on me on the highway, and I was like, well, if he happens to turn the same way I am, I'll get over for him. <laughs> Man, this is a nice tractor. International. Yeah, International 1255. <sighs> Works pretty good. Dang. Did you pick up a new gravity wagon? J&M 680. Mm-hmm. So a lot of... Just picked her up. A lot of guys are running grain trucks. And a couple new guys, a couple of the big guys are starting to run gravity wagons here. I got, I still got to yep. decide what I'm going to run here. Man. Hold 680 yeah. bushels? 80 bushels, oh, yep. That's, uh, a, that's a lot. My, the way my fields are, it's not good for getting trucks in and out of. So I saw I saw these come up on the market and I was like, well, I want to get me one of those. <laughs> if, you, if you don't mind me asking, how much, how much did you pay for it? Uh, 
Off the top of my head, I think uh, about 2500 for it. Ooh, that's yeah. pricey, but it's probably worth it. <laughs> it is. It is. I, oh, I hope so. We'll find out. Care if I climb up in her? Go for it, man. My gosh, there's a lot of space in here. You could almost yeah. live in here. Holy crap. Well, man, I think, well, you want to see the farm? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, give so. The, give me the grand tour. Construction's pretty much finished. I got to unload those tractors, but we'll get to that later. Uh, here's the house. Check out this view. Man, it's so nice on the evenings just sitting out here drinking a bud. Oh, yeah. Look I at this bet, view. Man. Look at this view. I mean, this is better than Hawaii, California. Ah, this is where you want to be. Yeah, looking out over all the uh, all the money being made on the on the land. Well, I'd show you inside, but the little boogers inside there probably all run around. Oh, we'll just jump yeah. on your leg and start humping you or something. So, <laughs> but uh, here's the shop. Let me open this door here. It's a little messy. I apologize. We just got some of the equipment in. Got a messy yeah, in right. here that we just purchased, and then we got cold storage out here. Thank yeah, you, we uh, just is picked that brand it up. New? No, she's uh, no. she's probably five years old, six. Years old, yeah. yeah. That thing's a workhorse, though. I bet it'll it'll till up all your land. Real Three hundred and seventy horse. Yeah. Three hundred. Yeah. Yeah, and I was looking at uh, at some loans for some land the other day. Yeah, yeah. Interest rates are climbing. Uh, yeah. In my lifetime, I'm trying to think when I was a kid. I haven't seen interest rates this high. Eighteen percent interest rate. Are you kidding me? How's some of these supposed to even? Yeah. I man. know. All righty. You have fun getting your work done. Okay. We'll see you, Jake. See ya. Gotta jump in the 4440. Start her up. Man, Jake's a nice guy. Glad I have a neighbor like him. That'd actually be pretty cool if we create a trail connecting our farms. Well, I should let Jake pull around. Let him go. There he goes. Hopefully he knows his way around here. He'll find a way to turn around. Who's that? Oh, hey. What the heck? Man, people are so friendly. Well, I guess for now, I, I, I don't know if I have room in the in the shop. I, I'd have to put it in cold storage. For now, I'm just going to put the 4450 out right out front. Howdy, partner. Hey, how's it going? Kind of. Oh, I thought that was a deer hat. You almost got me, man. Ah, uh, no, 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 not quite. What's your uh, name? Yeah, Austin. Austin, nice to meet you. I'm Grant. And you're Grant. Okay. Yeah, I just moved to town nice here. Nice to meet you, Grant. Yeah, yeah, I just moved here actually as well. Really? So I thought I'd come and introduce myself. I started construction probably four weeks ago and we got her done. I mean, we finished construction nice. like four weeks ago here. Nice. Uh, I just bought, I bought a farm down there, so... Where at? Yeah. Here. Just just literally just straight down the road. You see that dairy farm down there? With the white buildings there? Yeah, that's that's literally my place. Oh, nice, man. And I and then just around the lake there I own another uh kind of farm spot there, so. Yeah. Here, I got one question for you. What's that? You vote Reagan? Heck yeah. My man. <laughs> so is is that guy that was just uh there? Is that the guy that lives around here? Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was Jake. Let's see, I met him at I met him at Casey's the gas station. And yeah, uh, oh, really? he lives. So he lives just right back there, kind of back in my woods there. Yeah, he has a nice gotcha. farm back there. Wait, so do you run crone equipment? I'm guessing. I honestly, I haven't bought any equipment yet. Okay. Well, if you so. need, I know a guy that's pretty good that hooked me up in Northern Missouri, and he's I think he can get his hands on equipment around here too. Buck, I guess I never knew his last Buck. name, but yeah, uh, Buck. Yeah, I don't I can, know the guy. I think. I I'll don't give think you the, I know the guy. I'll give you the dealer's uh, phone number if you want that. You have a phone at your house, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. of course. Okay. Man, well, it should be nice if there, if there was just phones you could put in your pocket. You know, you didn't have to go to a house well, or something just well, to use them. Well, uh, I was watching... I was watching last night's news, C CBS, the 8 o'clock program, and they said that there was a crazy guy out in California that had a phone in the back of his car. Really? Yeah. A phone in the back of his car. I was like, man, if we could get that in my truck. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be Imagine awesome. Imagine the possibilities of that. That would be so yeah. cool. But I got to get, yeah. man, I got, I just got picked up some new deers. I got to get these unloaded and I got to run back to deer before they close. Here, Is it but, 445? Uh, nice you. What time you got on your watch? 445? Uh, yeah. Okay. So. They close in like Unless 20 minutes. watch off. Okay. I got to get back there. Yeah. Well, it was nice meeting you, Grant. Yeah. I will, uh. Let me know if you need any help anytime. Yeah. Hey, let me know when you get a real truck too, man. Ah, you're funny. Funny guy. Well, let's hop in the 4440, start her up. And I think I'll just put her by the 4450. And there goes Austin. He seems like a nice guy too. It's 447. That means I got like 20 minutes to make it down to deer before they close there. We gotta jump in the Ford. I gotta shut this truck off here. I'm just gonna leave it sitting here. We gotta make it down there. Sprint to the truck. Wait a sec. You guys see the new Dukes of Hazzard video? 
There we go, hood slide. I can't go across truck without hood slide. We have to book it on down there. Let's see what this high boy has. We are flossing. We made it just in time. I was the last guy, the mechanic, a deer was walking out the door. And I was like, wait, hold up. I'm here to buy the disc. I already paid for it. I just need to pick it up. It's like, yep, she's yours. So we got the John Deere 220, which I'm thinking is going to go behind. I don't know. See, the Massey is almost overkill for it. We'll see, though. I think I'll put it. I'll just sit that disc gain at a, at a real, real deep angle. And then we'll pull, pull her behind the Massey. It'll be an easy workout for the Massey. But, you know, it'd be pretty cool to pull it behind the 4452. But we're probably going to use the 4450 for a planter tractor. I'm also on the lookout for a cultivator, too. Now, I did buy a 8520 John Deere Cedar, a drill, which I still have to go pick up there. We're not going to make it in time before they close. We've got to pick that up sometime. My gosh, guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. This is, uh, this is fun to make. It's just, it's been fun building it. I, I want to build another farm almost. Not because mine's bad or anything, but because, man, that was so fun building out a farm. Can't get any more American than this. AR in the back, high boy pulling her, and a John Deere disc. America. Oh, shoot. Then we got the Chevy pulling by. Now I'm just messing, guys. Chevys are awesome. I just got to give, uh, I always got to give the friendly neighbor a hard time about them. And we made it to the farm. We can take the hazards off. So I think what I'm going to do is, heck, we could leave. I'll pull out the, uh, or actually, I'll just park up here with the high boy. And then I think what I'm going to do is try to get duels on the Massey. And if I can, I can actually get tilling some of this home ground tonight. Temperature's good. Probably not good enough to start putting corn in the ground, but good enough to start disking some of this stuff up. Let's take the Massey. I got the duels out back. We'll throw the duels on. Well, I got the duels put on, but the only thing is we're running out of daylight, and I got to move the 4440 and the 44... Ah, just move the 4440. We should be able to squeeze her out. So for now, I got to figure out where I'm going to put. I think we'll just put the 4440 back here, most likely, unless I want to leave it outside. I just... Nah. Let's not leave it outside. Hop in the 4440, put her in gear. We'll shift up a bit. And I think what I gotta do is I gotta open this door and then for now, 40, 4440 will go in here and probably the 4450. Pushing the clutch. Okay, let's open this door. For now, this will do. I think what I'm gonna do is try to, if I can, just gonna back this in right here that we can just pull her straight out there we go we're good let's fire up the Massey and then I gotta disconnect this disc and then we can finally get disc and I think what we're gonna do is test it out just right over here because we do own this piece of ground it backs up to Fred's place over there I'm gonna take the Ford and then we'll just swing around here man I gotta I gotta get the Lodestar put away where are we gonna I think for now I'll just back the Lodestar in here that'll work good or I could just back it. Yes, that'll work better. I'll just back it in uh, the shelter over there. And I think I'm going to drop the disc here. Get out. Got her unhooked. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. This may be a bit overkill for this disc. I'm thinking if I get my hands, if I can get my hands on a bigger disc or especially a bigger cultivator, oh, that'll work so much better for this Massey. Yeah, this is going to be a little overkill. <laughs> My gosh, the disc won't even fold down the length of the duels. This is going to be crazy. Back her up. And... Okay, we got her hooked up. Hydraulics are hooked up. She's ready to rock and roll. This does not even feel right. Oh my gosh, dude. This thing is tiny. <laughs> I didn't, ah, oh, shoot, the deer guys told me this, I mean, they told me the Massey would just be perfect for it, but I didn't realize this would be a little, uh, be a little too big for it. Okay, we'll stop the tractor, fold her down, this hydraulics are working, okay, I guess that's one thing I never tested when I bought the Massey. I mean, it works, it is pretty wide, but man, I wish I had another gate on the right side that we could fold down. Oh, here we go. She's pulling just fine. Here we go. 
I don't feel any struggle. And we got a little dirt on the tires for the first time. So right now I'm disking at about four mile an hour. What I'm gonna do is try to crank it up to six mile an hour. We'll crank up another gear and see this Massey has no problem pulling this thing. We could actually, I could probably put her in eight, we probably put her in ninth gear and easily pull through this. I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay, here we go. Let's get her down at least. Okay, let's crank her up a gear. Yeah, ninth gear. This pulls it just fine. We're a discin', boys. Man, I'm just in love with this Massey. Just easily, just smooth, low idle, ninth gear, easily pulls it. You know, I would go faster, but man, I, I don't even trust myself here with some of these. Just turn around and stuff. I just, just think this speed is perfect. Coming up a little hit, hill here. Oh, Massey? No problem. She just pulls right up here. And the last strip. And then we're done. I'm going to probably head in and get some supper. And we are done. I'm going to fold her up and then I think... I think I'm just going to leave the Massey outside for a night. But I also told, J I also told Jake... Uh, let me slow down here. Shift down. I also told Jake I was going to be... Uh, I was gonna be down by his uh, his place. I told him I'd go see it. So before it gets dark, I do want to go check out his place. But yeah, we got her tilled up. She's all good. So far, everything working on the disc. I think there's just one adjustment I want to make on the gains to make them more aggressive into the ground here. Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna park the tractor for the night. There we go. The mass he did as well. So now before we get going to Jake's, I'm gonna back the Lodestar in. We're just gonna, I think we should fit under here. And even if it's sticking out a little bit, that's fine. I could always take the loader tractor and kind of dig like a little tunnel. Keep digging this further so we can fit it in more. Well, I think she's gonna fit. Advantage of having a regular cab. So easy to back up. We got a ways to go yet. We'll just go until I can feel a little touch of the dirt. I think we're there. And heck, we're good. Okay, let's rip on down to Jake's before, heck, if I knew where Jake's place was exactly, I'd take a, I'd take the, I'd take a path through the woods. We need to make a trail through the woods eventually. It is getting dark out. Oh, just cause the lights on. So I think his place is down here. Oh, there basically is a trail through here. His place comes down here. They take this hill down here, and then I think he's at the bottom. He's got a shop just like mine, too. Look at that. Oh, and there Jake is on his porch. He's got a house just like mine. Jake! How you doing, hey. man? What's up, Grant? Well, Love the truck, man. Uh, my grandfather bought it. Okay. And my dad gave it to me. Yep. Did you guys just put up that shop there? Yep. Yeah, some okay. of the buildings are new. That shop looks really new, I was going to say. Yeah. Show me around the place. Then you roll up here, you got your grain bins off to the left. Uh, 30,000 bushel. Nice. Oh, yeah. Big ones. Good old big grain bins. You got uh, chicken coop back there in the back. Uh, open face storage here. Got the old barn. Probably the oldest barn on the property. Quonset? Yeah. Oh. Yep, yep. Got the Quonset. Uh, here, let me open this up. Oh, There's nothing wow. in here right now, but. Wow. It's a nice old barn. Your grandpa put that up in the 40s or 30s? Or is it, it's yeah. probably older than that. You think it was built in the 20s. Okay. I, I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, got this shop here. This one's not new, but it's probably 20 years old. Okay. Got a couple pieces of equipment in there. You got a deer. Cold I saw you. you. So you're yep. an international and deer guy. I'm a mixture. I got deer, I got international, and actually back <sighs> you here. You got the big 4840. This is, a, mm -hmm. I think, a 180 horse. Man. Yep, 180 horse. And got a little Alice uh, Chalmers back here, too. An old Alice. I had to stop by for 10 minutes. The wife is cooking supper, and I told her I'd be back in like five minutes. It's been already 10 minutes, so <laughs> I got to run back right. there, Jake. All right. Well, if uh, uh, when hunting season comes around, you ever want to go hunting? I got a lot of timber back here. I'd love to. Go you guys got some big bucks back here? I haven't oh, hunted yeah. this area. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tons of them. I better get running, Jake. I'll see you later. All right. Have a good one. You too. Well, guys, this is going to be the end. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed uh, 
man, it seems like we just got a lot, a lot of different stuff done today. Met a lot of different people. But seriously, if you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button. Now, I want to put these videos out every day, but it's just like, man, we're going to be pushing it out so many episodes. I don't know if that's, if that's smart just to post a farm video every single day. So we may switch it up. I don't know. I'd love to post more, but we'll see, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, as always, and hey, I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.